Hey guys, Thunderstud here, giving you other sick, sick KC Cup decks. So let's say that tier 0 deck I was talking about in Invoked Neos is boring you, or it's just getting countered hardcore, people are ready for it. This is the next deck I would pull out to really cheese me some wins. It is Black Wings. Konami tried really hard to make Black Wings strong for a really long time, but they're finally here, and they have the staying power even after being banlisted for a while. So they finally come full circle, we're using all sorts of Blackwing monsters, five different ones to be exact. We're getting that Onimaru out, we're using those Rainstorm plays, but we also have a Fairy Dragon. Now Fairy Dragon can't work with Samoon, can't work with I think Kraken, but uh, it works with just our normal boys to make a 7. We destroy our Harpy's Hunting Ground, search a Necro Valley, that makes for a really good first turn when you know what deck you're fighting. And you can just sit that 3k booty in a grave or a necro valley on the field. It works out really well. We're fully committed to just back row hate. We're not trying to mess with traps. We're not trying to do any of that. We're just hitting back row and summoning synchro monsters like absolutely crazy. We're also using the special ways to Onimaru and uh, Rainstorm with our boy Waxing Moon and our boy Dust. So with Harpy's Hunting Ground. Our boys search each other like crazy. That's really the importance of field spells is being able to get those proper searches off when you need them, which means virtually anyone can search Dust, virtually anyone can search Squall, and this boy can search others with his 1200 attack. He can get our Dust, he can get our Squall, and he gives you a search when he's sent to the graveyard. So he is worth one little spot, but Gale's our main boy. Bora's our main boy, Kraken's our main boy, some Moon's our main boy. You start with all of them, you just cheese your way to some first turn plays of a Chidori or a Raikiri. Let your opponent manipulate that field however they want, and you just finish them off with the Onimaru, bringing your boys out from the graveyard. It'll seem much, much more straightforward in the replays, but it's just come full circle. People didn't always use these Blackwing monsters. Onimaru's now just seeing a little more use now that people have figured out how to consistently really summon him to his full potential. He requires only synchro monsters, but he can be made through just normal monsters, but the synchro monster synchro summons give him his 6k damage when he swings, and that's what you're really after. He can't be destroyed by card effects, but you want to gain that extra 3000 points. So you want to do Storm, who will be a tuner when you synchro summon him, and then he'll special summon one of your boys who will not be a tuner because they were not synchro summon, they were just special summon. So it'll be plain old level 7s plus your 5 is your Onimaru, all thanks to Dust, guys. You don't even have to use Dust's effect. You don't even want to use his effect of copying a level. You just use Dust as a level 2 body to be special summon. Works out really, really well. Makes Black Wings so focused. You set up your first plays. You make sure your hand's ready for your follow-up plays, and you just win a bunch of duels, guys. So, if Invoke Neos was the back row representative of this current meta, this is the back row hate coin flip OTK representative of this meta. And that's exactly how I'm going to boil it down, guys. It's either back row or coin flip OTKs, as it commonly is, but it's never been so polarized as it is now. All because witchcrafters say... No decks with monster effects, which really stifles the meta. Uh, so, uh, witchcrafters are just a terrible thing for this game. But, they'll fade into obscurity soon, and we'll just keep on keeping on. Till then, I hope you guys do well in the KC Cup. Try some of these decks, let me know what deck you're using, and thanks for watching. Alright, here we are versus Seto. I don't know why these KC Cup replays put you on top. This boy's trying to rank up in Japanese, we're not gonna let that happen, he's using ultimate dragons, very stilted by back row ultimate dragons, uh, not just ultimate dragons, but blue eyes in general, we play a black whirlwind, throw away a Samoon with the Samoon, that's the second black whirlwind, we're gonna search anything but Kraken pretty much, but we already have a Kraken, so we search a Gale, search a Squall, we're already done, now I should have normal, or I do normal summon, okay never mind, so we normal summon our uh, Crack of Dawn. That gives us a search of our Waxing Moon and our Dust, so this is our follow up play guys, a level 3 tuner with our Dust, that's a Rainstorm, that's our Onimaru eventually. 
So all we gotta do is confidently put a Chidori and a Raikiri on the field. So we don't even care if they're stuck in the graveyard. We actually want one of them to be destroyed. So it's good our boy's going aggressive. Throws away Stone of Ancients. Brings out a Spirit of White to banish. Probably our uh, Whirlwind. Pretty big mistake, but this is an animal play regardless. Uses a... Uh, what is, why can't I think of that? Forbidden Lance to destroy our Raikiri. Not much he got done there, and he's about to see our follow-up play really just crunch the boys. So we use our Waxing Moon, Special Summon the Dust. That's our Rainstorm. Rainstorm's going to bring out that Raikiri, except this time he won't be a tuner. He'll just be a level 7 monster. We get to use the Raikiri effect, destroy all that. Then we bring out the Onimaru and just finish him off. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Rex Raptor. We're actually on the right side this time, going first. He's using a Dark Magician Girl mat, or sorry, sleeve, with a Silver Dragon Blue Eyes and a Spirit of White mat. That's actually a pretty cool animated mat. And that's the uh, Spirit Dragon Synchro, I think. That's a normal Blue Eyes, but I think it's the Majesty card. So anyway, we're going Samoon with Squall. I think I misplayed here because I didn't... Uh, what we should have done was do the Samoon, search virtually anything other than Squall, then we could normal summon, search the Squall. So that's usually what you want to do. But I didn't do that, so it's okay. We'll set a Cosmic Cyclone. 3200 Chidori, not the most impressive field. But our boy puts an even worse field on the board. So we normal summon our Gale. He's Super Heavy Samurai, he is affected by Necro Valley, we stopped those Giga Gloves and all that nasty stuff. Boys nowhere near close to Titan Showdown, so we're not really worried. And we have a Cosmic Cyclone for any equip cards he tries to use. He, speak of the Giga Gloves, there he is. Musashi cannot move his tuner from the graveyard, thanks to Necro Valley. Giga Gloves does go off, but you can't special summon your boy. We get our Bora. Perfect for the Gale. That's our Raikiri. Destroy that monster. Swing for lethal with the Chidori. No Giga Gloves for you. Great, great duel, guys. Alright, here's little Mokuba. We're trying to rank up in uh, some weird language. I don't know. I guess it's not really weird. It's just a language I don't know. We get our Harpy's Hunting Ground. We got Crack of Dawn, we got Dust, we got Bora. We're fighting a Maiden. We're gonna Cosmic Cyclone that back row. Was a Canadia. Now we use our Black Whirlwind. Summon our Crack of Dawn, search a Gale. Now we're gonna bait our boy and he's gonna take this bait. We bring out a Bora, bring out the Gale. We're gonna use the Gale on this zero attack monster. He takes advantage of that to bring out his blue eyes. This is exactly what we wanted. Because now we can casually remove this blue eyes with the right carry instead of the blue eyes coming out on the right carry effect or on attack. So you really shouldn't have activated that effect on the Gale. But you give people an option and a lot of the times they just hit yes guys. So we hit him with the right carry, hit him with the crack of dawn, and we had to bring that dust out because he was using life point boost. So we finish him off. Great, great stuff guys. Alright, here we are facing Yusei. It says we're on top, but we're not on top. This poor boy is going to catch a dual level down as well. 24 cards of life point boost. We're using Harpy's Hunting Ground. Cosmic Cyclone. Black, War uh, Black Whirlwind. Look at here, we're fighting another Black Wings. Going for the Mirror Match. Obviously in the Mirror Match, it's who has Cosmic Cyclones. Who has the second turn play, and let me tell you, we have the second turn play. He's got to do it on a budget, searching his Zephyros, how to banish a Gale. Searches a Zephyros and a Bora. That will let his Zephyros, or Zephyr, special summon. Then he special summons the Bora, that's the Raikiri. Stuck with a little Samoon. Just one little back row is going to get hit by our Cosmic Cyclone. We get two Black Whirlwinds, which means we're going to get everything we need out. He uses Anti-Reverse, which I think just hits back row. Yeah, destroy all spell cards, so he wasn't doing anything. We get three whirlwinds, guys. That means we're gonna be able to search everything thanks to Harpy's Hunting Ground. So we can search our Bora, search our Gale, search our Squall, all in one little summon. Now we're gonna do it again. We summon the Bora. We can search whatever we want. I don't think Kraken. I think Kraken's 1900. 
Three searches. That's another gale. That's our dust. Should be waxing moon. Nope, and then another Bora. Isn't that beautiful? You get to summon the Squall. Bring up the Raikiri. Summon a Gale. Use his effect on little Samoon. We don't really need to though. Then we Synchro Tichidori. Then we're not even done. We summon the Bora. Now we use Raikiri. Pop those two monsters. No cards in hand. Boy was done for. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a set of Kaiba. Going first. This poor boy is going to catch a level down. Let's see what he's got first. He's using Ultimate Dragons. Now, Blue Eyes is another deck that's propped up by trap cards. They use Ultimate Providence, they use Karma Cut, they'll even go so far as to use Regeki Breaks. So they're really being propped up by back row in combination with White Stone of Ancients. So here we're starting with Samoon. Total misplay not setting that other Black Whirlwind make a lot of misplays here because I'm uh, actually doing a lot of these duels at work so I'm spent for time I gotta be really quick I gotta be subtle about what I'm doing all sorts of stuff so I uh, I don't think I win this so I think I am forced to time out but you'll see I clearly have the victory in line anyway we're starting with a Chidori going into a Raikiri this is the kind of first turn play you can make because you're gonna set up your Onimaru plays right after so it's okay to have them in the graveyard here our opponent just sets two. This is what I was talking about with Blue Eyes being propped up by back row. He's tried to set his Karma Cut. He's using a Hollow Life Barrier. Throws his Stone of Ancients. That means we can't do any damage to him. We end our turn. He's going to bring out a Blue Eyes in his end phase. We're not scared. Now it's his turn. Goes for a Burst Stream of Destruction. But when Chidori's destroyed, he'll Special Summon another monster. So Raikiri comes right back. Here he uses Sage with Eyes of Blue. Could have OTK'd us had this boy ran a Vermilion Dragon mech. But this silly silly boy goes right into a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. That's not going to win you a duel. He's getting a Blue Eyes to his hand. But not enough for any fusion shenanigans. So he passes his turn. Here we go with the Gale. I'm going to bait him into using his effect. By using the Gale effect on him. We search a Dust. Very important to search Dust. Here comes Dust. That's our Rainstorm. Rainstorm's gonna bring that Chidori right back out. And guess what? Chidori will not be a tuner. Now he's going to use his uh, Azure Eye Silver Dragon. We could have got him to bring it out earlier if we used our Raikiri effect. But it doesn't really matter because we can't destroy this boy. So there's no point. We're going straight into the Onimaru, guys. So, I should have used... The Raikiri instead of the Chidori. That way Chidori's over that 3k. We could swing with the Chidori, finish him off, or the Chidori was at like 4.6k. So we could have swung with the Onimaru, finished him off. Here I was trying to be really quick to beat the timer. We destroy the monster, but I don't beat the timer and we time out. But like I said, we had the win with both the Chidori and the Onimaru on the field. I was just at work trying to do stuff. But still, what a comeback. He could have beat us with Vermilion Dragon Mech. But he may not have been running it. So great, great stuff, guys. And that's just what this deck is. You get those Onimaru plays on deck when your opponents destroyed your Raikiris, destroyed your Chidoris. They think they've beat all your tricks. Then they see Dust, and they're like, what is Dust doing? You bring out the Onimaru, and they just get creamed really, really hard, guys. It's really great stuff. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you're successful in the KC Cup. And thanks for watching.